In this nugget, we are going to look at the electricity supply in the UK. Alternating current, or AC, is when the potential difference constantly changes direction. This causes the current to also constantly switch direction. Instead of the charge moving around in one direction, it moves back and forth. Different countries operate with different frequencies, the number of times the current changes direction each second. Common frequencies are 50 Hz or 60 Hz. This means that the potential difference in current cycles changes direction back and forth 50 or 60 times each second. You can get alternating current out of a power supply or a plug socket. Energy resources are stores of energy that we use to generate electricity. The energy stores that we currently use to convert energy to electricity are the sun, solar, wind, wave, hydroelectric with falling water, biofuels, tides, geothermal, fossil fuels, and nuclear power. On the left we have the renewable energy sources and on the right we have the non-renewable energy sources. Remember, we are looking at the methods of generating energy from these sources. These are not necessarily just the sources of energy or the stores of energy. So how does the electricity generated reach our homes? So the electricity is generated and is connected to a step-up transformer, where it is then passed onto the transmission cables. These cables are either underground or overground attached to pylons. This is then connected to step down transformers and into communities. So we have the power station, the step up transformer, pylons, the overhead cables being held by the pylons, and the step down transformers. The national grid is the nationwide network of cables and transformers that distribute electricity around the country. The national grid do not own the power stations, they buy the electricity from them and then sell it back to the energy providers for them to sell on to the consumers. Let's have a look at step up transformers. Step up transformers are used to increase the potential difference from the power station to the transmission cables. The potential difference generated is usually around 25,000 volts from the power station. The step up transformer increases this usually to around about 400,000 volts. These step up transformers are connected to the transmission cables. By distributing electricity with a high potential difference, this reduces the current. This subsequently increases efficiency as it reduces energy loss due to the resistance heating effect. The transmission cables usually operate at either 400,000 volts, 275,000 volts or 132,000 volts. Step down transformers are used to decrease the potential difference from the grid so it can be safely used in households and other businesses. They transform the 400,000 volts to a safer 230 volts to be used in the home. Factories may require a higher potential difference. If this is the case, they would have their own step down transformer providing a suitable potential difference for them. There are different advantages and disadvantages for using overhead or underground cables. Advantages of using overhead cables include it is easier and cheaper to access to repair and maintain the overhead cables. Cables are cooled by the air surrounding them. The air acts as an electrical insulator to protect people. They are cheaper to install, especially over difficult terrain. Advantages of underground cables include that they cannot be seen, they are not a hazard to any aircraft or helicopters, they are unlikely to be damaged by severe weather, 
there is no or very little risk of people getting electric shocks. Disadvantages of overhead cables include that some people feel they spoil the landscape. There is a greater risk of fatal electric shocks as they are exposed to people. They can be damaged by severe weather. They are also a hazard to low-flying aircraft or helicopters. Disadvantage of underground cables is that they are difficult to access and really expensive to repair and maintain. They are also more expensive to install and it also disrupts a lot of land in doing so. They often need cooling systems to reduce the temperature of the cables and maintain them. And cables also need layers of electrical insulation. Remote isolated locations will often have their own microgeneration to supply their own electricity. This will often be cheaper than building a connection to the national grid. If you can, it is worth being connected to the grid in case your generation fails. It also means that in some countries you can sell your surplus back to the grid. Every country has their own electricity network. To support national networks, countries often link up and buy and sell electricity from each other. This is easier when you have land borders, but power links can also be laid across the bed of the ocean. In summary, the national grid is the nationwide network of cables and transformers to distribute electricity around the country. Step-up transformers are used to increase the potential difference from the power station to the transmission cables. By distributing electricity with a high potential difference, this reduces the current. This subsequently increases efficiency as it reduces the energy loss due to the resistance heating effect. Step-down transformers are used to decrease the potential difference from the grid to be safely used in households and other businesses. Keywords Alternating current Current moving both in the positive and negative direction. Distribution The process of sharing and spreading something out over an area. Transformer an electrical device used to change an alternating potential difference. Potential difference, the measure of how much energy each charge in a circuit is carrying. Resistance, the slowing down of a current due to the collisions of electrons with metal ions.